What's happening, Sales Ascender? We're back for another uh, high ticket tune up, and we're discussing body language in the series. Today, we're going to talk about all things hairdo. Let's get into it. What's happening, Sales Ascender? Sean here, back at you with another high ticket tune up, and we're back at the body language series for episode number 102. We're going to be talking about hair, everything hair in a sales conversation. I hope you're ready for this one because I'm going to go fast. So, what are we talking about? We're talking about hair in sales. So, what does this mean? What is the overview? When you got some hair, what does it mean, right? So we're talking hair and sales. Healthy hair is important. That's the first note to remember. Whenever you're on a sales call and you're looking at a prospect, look at their hair, make sure that it looks healthy. Healthy hair typically you can see is you know done neatly or put together well, seems to be nourished and moisturized. If it's like doesn't look real great, this typically can mean they're the person that you're speaking with might be frazzled or, or it could indicate that they may have um, just kind of like a, a messy life. So it's interesting to kind of see that, right? Hair can attract. Obviously, everybody loves good hair. That's awesome. Hair can conform. It can help you to conform into a society. You know, like if you look at some of the more traditional um, religions or this, that, and the next thing, some people have like, hey, your hair has to be done this way. It has to conform to uh, the, the thing. Um, it also can repel, like some people don't like the big mohawk, you know, like that's kind of the street subculture. And then some, you know, the traditional parents see some kid with a big mohawk, they're gonna be like, ah, it could repel, right? Um, it can shock people, same thing, blue hair don't care, right? And then um, lastly, it can communicate about our career, right? The professional woman's gonna wear a very professional hairstyle, whereas the free spirited girl is gonna have like a bandana on with her hair out. And that's cool. That's, that's kind of what they do. And that's, it also helps to kind of develop. It is a little bit of stereotypical stuff here that I'm sharing in the overview, but it's important to just keep in mind, like hair can be responsible for a lot of different things. Let's keep going. So what does it mean when somebody starts playing with their hair, when they're twirling or twisting or stroking or, or doing something like this? So I think this is important. So as we're having a sales conversation, we're watching our prospects, we're looking at these clients maybe. And the first thing is, is, is if you see your client twirling, twisting, or stroking their hair, typically this can mean it's a pacifying behavior. It typically can indicate a good mood, which is awesome. Or here's the other thing, depending on the context of the situation, it can actually indicate stress. If you see somebody going, ah, and they, in like the way they stroke their hair, the way they're twisting their hair, if you see there's like anxiousness in their arms or their hands as they're grabbing their hair, this could be an indicator of stress. This might mean you've broken rapport in your sales conversation. It might mean you need to like figure out that there's a problem. A lot of times I see this when sales people will continue talking instead of asking questions. See, in a sales conversation, it's not about who's talking, it's about who's listening. And the way that you can observe things like hair is when you ask a great question and you're not focused on saying something. Now you have all your other senses at your disposal and you can watch people's body language. This is why in professional sales and what we teach is every 60 minute conversation, you only want to have about 17 minutes of speaking time as a sales professional so that you have all the rest of those 43 minutes to observe what your prospect is saying, how they're acting, what they're doing, what they look like and all the body language that's going on and just let your senses help you to sell and close deals. That's definitely key. So remembering that when people are twirling, twisting and stroking hair, it could mean a good thing. Pacifying behavior means they're in a comfortable place, could indicate a great mood um, or it could also indicate stress. Here's a pro tip. If the hand is facing the head, so if it's like this or like this or maybe even like this, this means that it's a pacifying behavior and you're in good shape. When the hand turns the other way, when it blocks the face and, and people do this, you've seen them do that before, you've seen them do this before. This means they're deflecting, they're blocking, they don't wanna talk to you. Um, that means it's usually a stressful thing. So look for when you see somebody start stroking, twisting or, or twirling their hair, is their palm facing their head or is it away from their head? And depending on this, you'll very, very quickly be able to be like, oh gosh, like that's this move. I said, hey, hold on a second. I just ask you a question like, is everything sitting with you okay? And let them talk. 
because typically what happens if you catch it early enough, they will say whatever it was that they they needed to tell you. And then now they're not going to be stressed doing this. They're going to start doing this, which is the right move. Let's move on. What does it mean when fingers are run through the hair? This typically means ventilation. That's very simple. And what happens is when women do it, they can pull their hair out like this. And it actually allows oxygen to get to the scalp, which allows you to cool down, think smoother and cleaner. Men, same thing. They like the, the scalp agitation, um, helps the tingles in the, in the brain, right? So if you've ever had a girl like rub your hair as a guy or whatever, you can kind of know that, that that feeling feels really good, right? So, but the typically when somebody's running their fingers through, it, it, it stands for they need ventilation. When men do this, guess what? It's a sign of doubt, right? Then you're like, I don't know. I don't know if this is the right thing. And they're doing this, right? Like that's that's a sign of doubt. So if you're speaking with a male prospect, just be aware of that. If you're speaking with a women or woman prospect or a female prospect, this is a pacifying behavior for them. And so lift it. Okay, so when women are doing this on the front or the top or, or even on kind of on the back here, that's great. But when they go underneath and they start lifting up from the backs, so they'll go, they'll go in this way and they'll start lifting start lifting their hair up, but you've seen it. I know you've seen it. I'm just explaining it. I'm overemphasizing it. So, you know, but when women start to do this, if they do it one time, it's okay. If they start to do this repeatedly where they flick the hair up underneath the back of their neck. That is a very, very telling tale that you need to slow down and change the topic, have a different conversation, ask a different question, get back into their world. Right. And a pro tip, flipping, touching, or pulling is common when trying to attract others. Just like this gift that you're seeing right here. When you see a chick do this, like, boom, she's actually trying to attract you. It's like a mating call. So if you're in the dating game, just something to think about, right? And uh, likewise, if you're a woman and you're like, this is how you use your hair to attract other people. Yes, this is the inside secret for you. So with that said, guys, um, yeah, that's hair. Hair in a nutshell. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy. And all you got to do is look for how they are touching their head like this, what they're doing with their hair, and kind of the mentality or the context that's going. And I can tell you that using this technique will get you into the right part of the conversation very quickly. You'll be able to create good bond and connection, and you'll be able to stay in rapport for the entire conversation. It's an easy thing to look for. Just look, if someone starts playing with their hair, just know, um, look for palm in, palm out. That's a one indicator. And then on women, if they're flipping up in the back, that's a bad thing. With that said, I hope this has been helpful for you. I love doing these ones. These are always great. And with that said, you've just been tuned up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn the notification on, do all that other good stuff and hit that thumbs up for sure. Tell me you love these things. I enjoy doing them. And with all that said, happy Thursday. And I look forward to seeing you next time.